Okay, sometimes you like your guitar, but you like to add pickups. Now, there's a number of different kind of pickups. You have under saddle pickups. Uh, my personal favorite is the K&K. &K. And the K&K &K is a transducer that will actually fit inside the guitar on the bridge plate. This is your bridge plate. And when we're done, we're actually going to locate these pretty much like this. All right? Now, in order to put them in there, K and K gives you a nice little instruction pamphlet about how this should go in and how to do it all. I've actually do enough of these that I have act, I got myself my own little pickup kit. I will take my strings off and I'm going to set up my pickup. Now I'm putting in what they call the vintage jack so I don't have to drill the, the, the tail and that will fit right into the strap button. So that is the way they will come when you order this. It's called the vintage jack and that's the K&K &K Mini. Now this isn't about a race, this is just about getting access into the guitar. And I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not unhappy with the strings. I forgot my little string puller. This is a 1953 Gibson J50 and here is a perfect example of what not you what you don't want in a pin. Can you see how all of these pins they are shot? So along with putting in a pickup, I am going to swap out these old pins. Uh, I will be back in a flash with a whole new set. Now, what I'm going to do when you order a set of pickups from K&K &K, and I happen to be a dealer. So if you order a set of pickups, you're going to get these little bags and here's the parts. There is an instruction pamphlet which I suggest you read, but in the crux of everything, what we're going to do is we're going to locate our little pickup and I'm going to use this jig. That jig fits over into the two holes and you can see I'm right underneath the bridge. That is where the, the, the pickup wants to be. It wants to be right underneath the bridge. So what I will do is I have a little piece of double stick tape. Put that on here. Then I can take my first pickup and there is a little step here, okay? So you can see I'm about an eighth of an inch off the step. That double stick tape is going to hold that into position while I get the glue ready. Now they give you this little bottle of crazy glue. And what they give you is a medium viscosity and it comes out, it's pretty much like a, a gel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that little skewer, woo, try that again, and I'm going to use, that's going to fit in here. That's going to help me line up on the holes. Now they give you a, a golf tee and since I like to golf, I don't want to waste them. Now, I'm going to put a drop of glue on there. You can see that. I come underneath here and I pick up my hole in. Sometimes you got to talk a little bit. Yep, there it is. 
I want to make sure the holes are over here and I grab that one and now I'm on there and all I'm going to do is come right up and I'm holding that little nylon piece against my bridge plate and that secures the position of that little transducer. The key is patience, give the glue an opportunity to dry. In their little instruction pamphlet, they tell you about building this little cardboard jig. And yeah, it works. It, and you just read the instructions, but with the amount of these that I put in, I've discovered that this little jig saves me a lot of time. And I guess you got to hold it about a minute or two. Give the glue a chance to cure. Hey, what do you know? I'm going to get two uses out of that piece of tape. And again, one drop of glue, and you can see how I smeared it around. Oh, there goes my bridge peel. We'll find it at some point. Mm -hmm. Bring this up. Squish it on there. And so far I have not glued my hand inside the guitar. Although I guess it could be, it could happen. One, two, three, four, five. I know I got a bridge pin down there somewhere. I have my three transducers glued to the bridge plate. I'm going to take, there's a piece of double stick tape on here. All right. And I'm going to take my little, my behoosets. Now they normally give you a little, yeah, there it is. Uh, what they call it, it's a little thing of uh, rosin. Now, before we go any further, here's a little tool that I use to do this. You saw how the transducer went on here, and then this comes down underneath, and I use the paintbrush. That lines me up into the bridge. So if I take my bridge, and you're going to be doing that pair, then this pair, then this pair. So if you come in, you're picking this up like this. And you can see that that lines up with the slot on the bridge. And when I reach in underneath here with my, my thumb, I'm grabbing right underneath there, and I'm lifting up. So you can actually see, can you see the holes? They're lined up, and I'm just holding that like that underneath there to attach the transducer. Uh, doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out how to make that. Uh, this is ultra high molecular weight nylon. Those holes, as you can see, correspond to the holes in the bridge. And you can see that I had plotted that out to correspond to the slot. And then I just adjust the transducer I start with about an eighth of an inch, a sixteenth, and then flush so that I can follow the taper of the bridge. All right, so with that being said, I'm now going to put my 
little guy in. So that you can see what's happening now, I'm going to swap this around. And again, these pieces of what were once by definition a bridge pin are a prime example of what you do not want in a guitar. Uh, that is what you call dog-legged. And you can actually see where the pin was trying to shear that puppy off. Okay, this is the vintage jack. It will go into the strap hole. And here's my little bottle of powdered rosin. So what that's going to do is this goes in here. And I put this in here. It snugs up, but it's not snug snug. So you can put this on it. You could paint this with super glue. Or my personal favorite. Let's just call that a tape shim. Then I can shove that into the hole. And I can adjust my tape. I'll take a little off. You didn't really think I was going to do that. <laughs> anyway, I'll just push that in. And I don't care about that little bit of tape. There's two million people in New York that will only see it if they watch this video. Okay, so now I have my one end and I connect it to my other end. And to see if we're live. You can hear, pick up one. Okay, now I'm going to take this double stick tape. I'm going to pull this off. And if you don't clean a spot in your guitar and this comes off, you can reactivate this glue with naphtha, much like we did the uh, pickup. And I just stick it to the back. So I now have a pickup in this guitar. So, I will find the end of my plug. And this comes, because that's a quarter inch jack, and the plug that we put in is an eighth inch jack, you'll have this little contraption to put on there. Okay. Now I will put my strings back on, and then in you go. And you can see how the tape, you can use a capo to do this also. But it's amazing how them little strings can tangle together. Okay, now you can see I have bridge pins that actually are bridge pins. And let's tune her up and see what we got. I, I really do like the K&K &K product. Um, I've actually modified some Fishman, Fishman preamps and I put K&Ks uh, with Fishman and they work fine. Now 
Now this is a passive pickup. There's no battery involved. Installation 101. Thanks again. One thing I want you to note. Remember we discussed in one of our earlier videos about brake angle. There's very little brake angle on this guitar. I do know it needs a neck set, but it sounds good to me. I'll do a neck set on it someday. But right now, I'm just going to enjoy playing it. So, from my shop to yours, I'll talk to you later. water.